In this video, I am going to explain why Wrexham AFC has completely ruined the American sporting experience for me. If you are new to my channel, I'm an American. A US citizen to be more exact, because I know we have, you know, I have Canada and you have South America and Central America. I was born and raised in the US. For the most part, I am proud of my country uh, and I love and support my country. We haven't always lived up to our founding principles. There have been some bad moments. There have been some good moments, just like every other country in the world. And so I'm proud of where I'm from. Uh, even in our short nation's history, we've had some major world achievements. And so I'm proud of us for that. But let's get to the topic of this video. American sports are a spectacle. They are over the top, larger than life. We have flashy plays on the field or on the court. We have high scoring sports, high flying sports. Everything's a circus around our sports. They're designed to be entertaining. And don't get me wrong, in typical American fashion, I like it. I enjoy the, it is entertaining. And I enjoy watching our sports. And I enjoy the circus that surrounds them. I will never get to experience the passion of supporting a home team in quite the same way that Wrexham AFC does. Or pick whatever club around the world. You guys are passionate because your sports are more than a spectacle. They're more than entertainment. I began watching Welcome to Wrexham last night. Um, and I watched all 17 episodes. I binge watched the whole thing. I got very little sleep. I could not look away from the screen. And here are some things that I noticed about watching that docu-series that American sports are missing. And the very first one that drops, that, that jumps to mind is community. Now, fan bases in America are very um, passionate. We definitely have passionate and crazy obnoxious fans of our sports teams here, obviously. And we have community that surrounds it. It is a communal experience to go to the game with 100,000 fans and, and watch your team play. But it's different with Wrexham. The heart and soul of the community is their football club. When things are going well on the pitch, things are going well in Wrexham. And if things are going poorly, it's miserable. And so watching the documentary, you can see the effect of, of poor football on Wrexham. 14 dismal years of being relegated to the lowest league in pro football. But yet the passion of the fans, they will drive four hours on a bus to go watch their team lose in the middle of the week and they'll still support their club. You've got volunteers, fans who actually volunteer and sacrifice their own time, their own schedule and their own resources to volunteer at the games. That blows my mind that you have volunteers to help the club. The fact that the community actually rallied around their club and actually resisted poor ownership uh, when they were trying to sell their home stadium. You can't have the Wrexham Football Club without the race course, which is their stadium. And the team and the community and, and everyone in Wrexham fought really hard so that they wouldn't take their stadium from them. It's everything to them. Now certainly, I experience passion for my Cowboys. Every time we lose in the playoffs, I'm not really the best human to hang around with. I get in a terrible mood. It definitely is miserable. It's just the feeling of not even wanting going, not even wanting to go to work the next day because I'm so shocked with the emotional toll of the loss. So definitely I, I get that. But it somehow seems to pale in comparison to the fan the fans of Wrexham. Speaking of supporting the home club, I just got something 
in the mail last night. I figured it would be a good time to open it with you guys here on the stream. Supporting the home club. Yeah! Yeah! Here we go, FC Dallas, baby! Yeah, supporting the home club, supporting the home team. I've been inspired by Welcome to Wrexham to be a rabid supporter of the home club. But back to the video. There are two major problems with American sports. Two things that American sports lack. First, the stakes are not high enough. And second, there's a scarcity of pro clubs. Let's tackle the second one first. The only thing that mirrors the passion of the fans of Wrexham in American sports is small town high school football, American football, or basketball, and college football or basketball. Small towns have attachments to their high school teams. On Friday nights, man, it's a it's an electric environment in these small towns where people will when I played when I played gridiron football, people would black people would back their flatbed pickup trucks to the side of the field and they would sit on their tailgates. Um, they would they would join the bleachers. They would you know they would just pack uh, pack the area around our football field to watch the game. Um, Friday night in a small town supporting a high school team is um, is everything for some of these small towns here in America. They don't have a pro team attached to their town. They don't have a pro club um, to support. So they pour everything into the high school. The high school game is, is everything for them, as is the you know college that they support. And the college and high school atmosphere is electric. I, mean, I won't want to take anything away from it. But there's a scarcity of pro clubs. If you want to watch professional American football, there are 32 options. 32. There are semi-pro clubs, I guess, but nobody watches semi-pro football because you would rather watch college football or NFL. Some American sports have minor league teams that are affiliated with their major league club. And to be honest, nobody cares about minor leagues here because the minor leagues are not about the club. The minor leagues are about developing the players. So the entire purpose of the minor league is to develop players to promote the player up to the major league club. There is no concept of promoting a minor league club to replace a major league club. And that's something that would make it so much better. The lack of relegation in American sports is a problem. And I never knew that it was a problem. And I'd say 90% of American sports fans don't realize what an added bonus relegation would be to our sports. For there to be stakes involved, you can lose your spot in the major league. I can't even name minor league teams. Besides the Texas Legends, who are the Dallas Mavericks minor league affiliate, I don't know any minor league clubs. Nobody supports them. Nobody watches them because all those, the, the entire purpose of minor leagues here is to promote players, not clubs. And there's something about this English system. There are four professional leagues. Four pro leagues. That's crazy to me. And Wrexham has been relegated to the bottom league for 15 years. And to watch the passion of the fan base as they, as they hope to be promoted to the next league as they hope to get out of that bottom league. Every season has stakes. When they get to the end, 
and they've got to have a win to get to that first place spot so that they can get promoted, there's stakes involved. And you can watch the heartbreak on the fans' faces when they didn't get that win at the end of the season. They were right there and they finished second. And right now, even right now as we speak, they're in second place in their table, trying really hard to get that first place spot so that they can get promoted up in to the next league. And there's so much passion involved with every win because you've got to win in order to be promoted. It means something. It means something to those people and it means something to those players. But I love American sports, but sadly, I think the American sports system has a fatal flaw. These are my thoughts after watching Welcome to Wrexham. I guess the only thing that I have left to say is let's go Dallas! And also like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.